This week's exercise we call the bottle of the groin. <laughs> 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 you be sitting on that all after <laughs> you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> oh, that one half <laughs> you, you may take the mic <laughs> down again. Chief <laughs> City. You're gonna have to get a wee divider. You know, you know some of those <coughs> cheesecakes that you get where they just have like two bits of paper in between them? Oh why? That's what you need for your ball back. Where is Chief City? Majorca? <laughs> <laughs> Marrakesh? <laughs> for you, or my <laughs> It's fucking you guys. I will be picking a random member of the Patreon this month where I'll send you a, a pair of my Nax boxers. <laughs> the boxers could walk to you themselves. I don't want you to clean them and send them back to me. <laughs> <laughs> they should have this instead of like love languages. Star sign, love language. A Brist- type free. <laughs> Bristol stool turd. Type free girlfriend, type seven boyfriend. <laughs> And you, and you can't be yeah you can't be the same you know it's like fucking astrology no, clash. Astro- astrology yeah. astrology <laughs> that's why Feeling off the cob? I'm feeling off the cobs. <laughs> it's episode 14. 15. 15. Ah, fuck, I got it wrong again. Every week or something. Welcome to the Bomb Squad. Welcome to the Bomb Squad, Mukbang. Look at that there, hey. Fucking cob on the fork. Unbelievable. I've had some technical difficulties. <laughs> the big man needed a second dinner. <laughs> Bomb Squad! Welcome to, here we go. That's a that's a very healthy meal for a post Big Mac that you had two hours earlier. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> It'd be healthy if I just had this. Yeah, just put a Big Mac in a. The man's a double. Something number two. The man's a double fucking Big Mac in. No oh, way. Calm down, McDonald's. There's something there. McDonald's are like fucking. You know how many iterations of the, like what are you gonna go in there someday and they'll be like the octuplet Big Mac. I remember my friend telling me about the triple cheeseburger and he goes, "It's not just another patty, you know, it's <laughs> something else." <laughs> Something else, dude. That's different. Something else. But it gets to the point, though, with burgers where after two, you don't even feel it. You know, just give me a cooked packet of mince. I'll just shovel yeah. it in my fat fucking face and die in the toilet. The McMince burger. That's Mc- one they need to do it. McMince and spuds. <laughs> the mixed cheese. Mixed cheese. <laughs> Did they not do a McPeppered sauce for the cold cheese? <laughs> if McDonald's had peppered sauce, I guarantee you would hit. You would not get into that because next time McDonald's. The McBushmill sauce. They did, they did, though. Did they not do the McPepper Legend scroats? Yeah, it was one of the burgers recently. Yeah, they did one with peppered sauce. Did you just have this? It was a good. I have you seen this? It. Have you heard about this? I didn't try it. That's what I'm saying. You're fucking cute tractors down the road. You can get in. Sorry, it sounds great. Would it be fair? When was the last time you were in a McDonald's? Physically in a McDonald's, it would have been years. Like, yeah. Or no, it actually would have been just because the drive through was too long. We're like, I might as well go on. Oh yeah. And take it out to the car. Like, very good, very nice. Nah, Sat in a McDonald's. Though, it's been years. Yeah. We went in for coffees going through Oma one time on the way to Donegal. And I mean, I looked into McDonald's and I was like, is there anything else to do in this town? Oh, that's it. 400 people in it. That's the head of the town. You got that. You got the two subways. You know what I mean? Pick your territory, Protestant or Catholic, whatever you're into. And then we've got the cinema. Yep. Uh, We just got a Costa. You know, so we're moving up. But that's the the highlight. drive through Costa? drive through Costa. (sighs) And the kitchen. The kitchen is probably, it's a very fine restaurant in the town. It's great. Fine restaurant. It is a lovely restaurant. Who was it? Was nice it, vibes. It was no doubt it was you saying about so, something better. Oh yeah, it was. When, sorry, it was when you were in Scotland. You were like, they've got a restaurant in the bar, and they made me a pizza with black pudding and smiley faces. Yes. Yeah. That is. Uh, it was restaurant. You know, it was restaurant standard. It was great. We're we're back straight into the fat talk. <laughs> I am just gonna mukbang it and finish the rest of this meal. Tasty though. It's gonna be. It's gonna be triggering. You know. If you thought, now nah, I got fucking touchy when we talked about anything racism-wise, wait till I start eating down this mic. <laughs> Some people are in that, though. I know, you that's know? fucked up. Some people are in, you know, you get the noise cancelling headphones on, you listen to a big man munching on a cob. It's a nice day. What about that? There, there's like a big uh, bodybuilder dude, big fucking black dude, and he just fucking... Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. And like sip stuff and just goes like... <laughs> and like blast farts and all, people are just watching it for hours. When you live with your friends in an apartment, that's when you see who they truly are because you all share a YouTube account. Oh, yeah. So your algorithm gets all fucked up and you're like, well, I know exactly who that is and that is. Tim used to just watch this big, massive black dude eat porridge, 
That was all his videos. I'd go into his videos, he would put like a wee low five eight over the top of it, and he'd just sit in his apartment. Guy's yoked as fuck, like, and he's just sitting oh, there. Oh, that's about Obi, Obi Vincent or something? That's the one? Yeah, I know who that is. Yeah. There is one other dude who just eats like shite all day, and he, you, like, if you closed your eyes, you don't know if this, this dude's like fucking someone or just eating a KFC. Because he'd be, be like, fair. He'd be like mm, oh, God damn. God damn, get down my mouth, bitch. Oh, fucking hell, boy. Don't neglect the balls. God damn. And then he'd just be like, Ugh. and just blasting big protein farts. Protein farts are fucking stinking. Mm. I, I I had my uh, trials with protein in <laughs> secondary school. You know, everyone was on it, so I bought myself a big old tub of strawberry. That's and right. uh, the farts I'd be letting off in double physics was satanic. <laughs> Rotten like my cousins was fuming. Uh, you need the beef isolate. Get rid of the whey. It's the, it's the milkiness making everyone It's fart. the future. Everyone's beef on the beef now. Oh, yeah. Maggie Bartlett's on the beef isolate. <laughs> You know, thinking it fucking is going to undo decades of fucking boozing and coke. I don't know, I'm on the beef isolate. Don't worry about it. Oh, they'll never reheal itself. I'm on the beef, beef isolate. It just sounds like a nice dish. You're like, you can't use it as a mixer, Mickey. You know what I mean? You have a double whiskeys and a fucking kiwi beef isolate. The gin and the beef isolate. Yeah. <laughs> the gin isolate. <laughs> I got so much shit in my mouth right now. It's disgusting. Are you getting things caught in your teeth? You're not too bad. Oh, yeah. Must you mean a corner cob, bro? Oh, why? I it? haven't swallowed any of it yet. <laughs> The whole fucking thing's between my teeth. You've been gawking that down. I've been gawking this <laughs> cub like a motherfucker. <laughs> you, can get, you get dildo shaped like corn the cubs. Dildo shit like... Hang on. Because it's ribbed. Oh, by the way, guess who's in charge? <laughs> McCann's got the laptop today. He's in... Can, listen, I'm taking a back seat today. I'm eating my lunch. You can you can, you can can take the wheel. Dildo corn the cob. Now, hang on, let me see this. Don't you be, don't you be soiling my search history now, you son oh, of a it's bitch. Already, I've seen their chief remedies and all. Nice. Uh, that's probably just for me, though, <laughs> to be fair. Did you look up chief remedy? Oh, that was previous weeks. Yeah. That was, <laughs> did we come to a conclusion on that? <laughs> that was your own personal research. Just like, just uh, maybe my... lose a bit of weight around the legs, you fucking hippo. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's the actual website. Look at that there, sir. Oh, why? Ribbed for her pleasure. Now, there's variations now. That there's, you know, for the bougie girl in your life. You know, a couple of DeMontes and that. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder... Uh, <laughs> That's just an actual... <laughs> I think it's been seasons, right? That's a fair point. That's been dug up by an archaeologist. That's a fair point. Nothing stopping you sticking an actual corn to up your dirt. That looks like my teeth. <laughs> After them are dead. <laughs> <laughs> After you brush them. <laughs> <laughs> so rough, like, a, what the fuck is this? Inner name? That's the one goes on. Is that a real dildo or is that a real corn? No, I got. <laughs> Welcome back to this week's edition of Corn the Cob or Dildo. No, I got an actual. That's a legit C in the C. C in the C, bro. <laughs> corn in the Cob. Although this thing here looks digital. That's a HDMI cable they plugged into that cob. That's the AC adapter, bro. Get a get a part up. I wonder if. Uh, no, that's not corn. No. No. That's BBC. Big black corn. That's what that one is. <laughs> Zing! Zing it right away! He's getting magical powers from the corner cubes! <laughs> they just thought these ones out. Uh, what they should do is an accompanying lube that looks like a wee sachet of butter. I agree. Bro, I seen a life hack the other day. What was the life hack? Do you know when you go to a, like a little cafe and they give you the wee butter in the foil? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes. You and people undo it and they try and scoop it out with a knife and it's either rock hard or oil, basically. Yes. Here's your day, bro. You take the fork, turn it to the back side, puncture it, and just fucking squeeze it out onto your toast. Oh, why? Oh, why? Squeeze you out the butter? I'll never do it. Like, every time. I'll, nah, I'll, you'll I'll, never I'll, do I'll that. Fucking, I'll hook it out and stab myself. And That's what life hacks are. They're like things that if you actually, you know, were like a fucking robot and going through life like that, you would do it. But nine times out of ten, you can be fucked in that. It's like. hardly a life hack. Like. Nah. But, you know, see, for most of my, like, childhood... My mom read a thing in OK Magazine that was like, uh, butter is killing you and your family. So she switched to the margarine. Yeah. But I was, you know, I was just starting to actually remember how things tasted, you yeah. know. And I was like, why is it every time we go to a hotel, the toast is fucking unreal? And then you come back here and it's shit. That's because we weren't using butter. Yeah. I used to think hotel toast was like its own thing. Butter's way better for you. Oh yeah, well that's the thing. Then OK, then turn around themselves and said, actually, butter is now better for you. Now that we've killed off you. Yeah. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> Natural selection. Butter's way better. OK Magazine is the OGQ and on, like, you know. Uh, Only one article on that and fucking the menopause career all over it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Look up some, look up shocking OK Magazine, uh, what do you call it, like fucking headlines? headlines? 
Hand, they know. They Robbie know. McShane has a bit about it, but like literally every one of them is like, <coughs> my ex beheaded my dog and stole half a million pounds from me before sh- defecating in my fucking letterbox. You're like, Jesus love. <laughs> There's another name for this. What's, what, what could it be? Take Shocking. a break. Take a break. Bella. Sh- take, a, take a break would be one. I collected all these ponos when I was younger. Take a break. This is the main reading material in my granny's car. Cause she'd let me, you know, she'd take me swimming, then she'd fucking sit in the car. This is prime in the dentist waiting room. Do my material. granny, my granny was faded off the KFC back in the day. Oh, why? What was what was her go to order? I don't know, but she she would brainwash me and the thing and wonder my fuck cunt. She'd be like, "You love this, don't you?" And I'd be like, "Sorry," like, and she'd be like, "You fucking love it." We're going to KFC and Carrick specifically. <laughs> to be fair, they do taste different. Well, KFC by location tastes different. I, but this was this is in the fucking nineties, like yeah. It, but it, it was when it just came out. Mm-hmm. It was absolutely banging. It's lost its way a wee bit, although they have rejuvenated the chips. Fat talk. Welcome back to Fat Talk. Sir, my head is absolutely fucking splitting today. Last week on the podcast, I was so funny that, that he ruptured. laughed. Him, he laughed himself an aneurysm. It's actually like it's it's so weird because I've never had experience of migraines or anything like that. And then of course you tell your friends that you're currently having a headache and someone's like, oh, I know a fella, he has to have a weak cardamom no. Anytime he takes migraines, he has to take it out because he can't be in public. And I'm like, well, hopefully that doesn't fucking happen. He's, he's what on him, a cardamom? He has like a weak card because when he takes migraines in public, like he can't really speak, his vision goes a wee bit fucking weird. So he has to just have a card if anyone's like, are you okay? And he has a weak card that says- I feel like, do you know what would give me a migraine? What's that? Trying to find that card. <laughs> In the middle of the, uh, in the heat of the battle, I'd be like, fucking in there somewhere. Yeah. Where it's like, because I get it, just say you've got migraines. You just pull out and you're like, person like, that's a Greg's loyalty card, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's a parking ticket. You're, you know? you're one stamp of a free chicken bag for the baby. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? It's the Nero loyal. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? Too much caffeine? They need to put all loyalty cards on apps because I have a few establishments I like to frequent, vape shop included, and they have physical loyalty cards. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this need, this shouldn't be, I can't carry that. Yeah. I'm never going to carry that. I don't think a one-off vape shop has the infrastructure or or the need to have an app. Yeah. I know, but in the ideal world, you know. Like, like, well, a lot of vape shops you go in, they're just like, we got this new thing. Do you want it for free in case someone dies? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what is it? I don't know. It looks like a can of deodorant. Do you want <laughs> But I went to, the, went to the doctor over the headache and he just prescribed me a couple of tablets and way on now. So we'll see what happens. But of course, you're always scared you're going to be that horror story, aren't you? Like, one guy went into the doctor, and they said he was grand. Two weeks later, he died. Mm-hmm. My mom told me one where she was like, someone went in, they had a bad back. They told him to walk more, and he died. Died in his sleep. And I was like, well, cheers for that, mom. He had a what? Bad back? He had a bad back, went into the doctor, but the doctor said, you need to be walking about a bit more. And then he died two weeks later, in his sleep. Now, don't ask for, you know, sources on this, or who said this, or where this came from. Can, I ask, just, can I ask what age he was? No idea. Probably a hundred. Yeah. You can get a pain in your back and it's like a fucking blood clot in your lung or something. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> That's why people get all fucking, what's the word? Hypochondriac? Yeah. Like, oh God, pain in my back. Would you say you have that a wee bit? Nah. No? You don't prefer fine calf at all? <laughs> I, 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 bro, I'm eating my third dinner on a podcast. No respect. No respect. Weirdly, neither do I. I had a button down the whole thing went off. User session. Smoke weed every We're day. We're <laughs> Fred again strikes. <laughs> <laughs> Dead again. Now no. I get you, dude. Now he's got the wee ghillie suit on. I'll fucking get you. Wee sniper. He'll get you. I go fucking. <laughs> I'm your Fred again having a jerk chicken. The last time. Wouldn't surprise me. I um, mean, if you're a DJ, you absolutely could just take it ready meal on stage, me. Oh, um, this is Dutty Man. You know those ones? One of those white black guys. Let the beat drop, talk on their pot noodle. Way back you go. Oh, yeah. Easy. That's what I would do. No way they dip behind the DJ booth to do coke. Yeah. I'd be down there with a fucking chicken stuffing sandwich. It's, just, it's such a... It would be the maddest career. It, like, I don't think people fathom how mad and reckless the life of a DJ would be. Like, I don't think anybody should be doing that for a career. It's weird. Because, you know, you're, there's part of your head going like, Can these motherfuckers not just press play themselves? Yeah. You know? Jink DJs are up there. And they see everyone like on cat and stuff like that. And they're just like, they don't appreciate the craft that I put into this. For sure. Yeah. Ben Nicky, bro. Some of the some of the people roaming the streets last week. Oh, when we after went. After Ben Nicky, I was like, man, imagine just staring out into a crowd of that. Dawn we went, of the dead. We went from the waterfront to Laveries, no distance. And the crowd I seen on the streets was in, it was like the purge. Like, 
Yeah. It was insane. There was a young lad who was about 13, no shoes on, crying. Disaster. And you're like, man, I put work. I put my heart and soul <laughs> into this fucking song. And people are just going, oh, no. It is scary when you see someone that's actually wiped out. <laughs> What's Can- wrong with your face? Can't wait to drop my new tune later. <laughs> Some 14 year old Yeah his jaws In the fucking Cha cha sled <laughs> Two yokes this time <laughs> <laughs> Shy to the left Man I've just collaborated With uh, Four Tap Fred again Skrillex And uh, and I'm, I'm really proud Of the work man So here it is And just They drop it and <laughs> It is like Zombie land Like Yeah just go back and it's like when you're writing a new bit and you want to do it in front of a crowd and the crowd's shite. And you're yeah. like, why'd I do it? Why'd I bother? <laughs> I should just walk out and call these people cats all night. Yeah. Wasting these new fucking ba-dum-dum chimpsons on you fuckers. You know? But what what? ba boom dum chimpsons. <laughs> That's my impression of a DJ. Now the, the, <laughs> now the pain in your head might be a stroke. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Have you done any fucking shite happen to you this week? Huh? Like any bad shit like that? Have you done anything happen to you this week? Any fucking low lights in your week? Not really. No? I did have that story, the story saved up that I wanted to tell you about the... Because I broke the, the assault bike next door in the gym there. Can you tell her you saving it? No, I'll tell you now. Okay. Saving it for what? I don't know. Like yeah. podcast on Thursday? I mean, saving it all fucking afternoon because the goddamn mixer thing wouldn't work for fuck's sake with a freak out right here! <laughs> nice. Know what I mean? No, I... I uh, Obviously, I'm very, you know, busy and successful and strong and attractive mm-hmm. and heavy. And uh, I got on that assault bike the other week and snapped the pedal clean off it. <sighs> Savage. The guy on the on the Patreon, shout, you know, came out to fix it. Shout out Mana Fitness. And uh, he was telling me a story about the guy. <laughs> There's a guy in his local area who... Uh, <laughs> big fat guy. Big fat bastard and head of some sort of <laughs> organization where there was marching involved. Okay. I actually, can't, I actually okay. can't remember if it was uh, loyalist or or uh, Republican. Uh-huh. But the guy was a big marcher okay. anyway. And uh, he got a call saying, could you come around and look at this treadmill? And he went around to his house and he said that the thing was absolutely a mess. And he, he had to get the guy to clean it. And the guy's like 40 stone. And he's looking, he's trying to fix this treadmill. Being like, what the fuck am I doing fixing this treadmill for this cunt? And then he said to him, like, just making small talk, like, gee, have you got much action out of this? Would you use it a lot? And the guy said, I just, uh, just in June to get myself ready for marching. <laughs> now, that's the guy I want to see on TikTok making workout videos. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the P1690X workout. <laughs> 1690X. <laughs> I'm trying to walk and play the flute. <laughs> This week's exercise we call the Battle of the Groin. <laughs> <laughs> You've been sitting on that all afternoon, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> oh, well, that one has to be. You may take the mic <laughs> down again. Oh, that's full of notes. Did you write it down? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, oh you fucking slag. That's half the dome. Don't even worry about it. Half the dome? Yeah. <laughs> it rings off your dome. <laughs> it rings off your dome this week. <laughs> Clean me fucking sad, eh, man? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Is that right? No, he's not right at all. I'll tell you what it is. It's vapes. <laughs> no, I said to the doctor specifically, I was like, here, listen, I'm only saying this because my mum told me to say this, but I, I do vape. And uh, would that have any contributing factors to what I'm currently experiencing? He's like, no, there's there's no way. And I was like, can you write that down? You should have been you like, do a video? Do you get him to hold a paper from that day, you know, and just be like, can you just do this testimonial? He's like, I, Dr. <laughs> Smith, I'm here to s- clarify that all of Aaron's issues are nothing to do with vapes. In yeah. fact, it's the least of his worries, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, Maybe consider eating an apple the other day. <laughs> <laughs> and not, not vape. <laughs> hey, stairs, take them. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, we haven't taken into consideration the dimensions of the head yeah. and uh, what complications might come around with that. But in summary, the vapes are probably nothing to do with it. Do you think I get a sore head the most people because my head's bigger? Like I feel oh, more it's pain? All, it's all relative. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you put them wee stickers on your head and you're like, you know, how, how sore is my headache? Yeah, it's fucking, it is bad, but it's one of the things where I'm just going to write it out. Do you remember that show where they used to test pain? You know, they'd be like, here's a fucking murder hornet, and some guy would get stung by it and be like, Aah! what the fuck was that? I don't know. It was it was like one of those Bravo type shows called like Pain Guys or something. Bravo used to make fantastic programs. They, they should get you on it. Yeah. 
We're going to do a controlled experiment here where McCann gets a headache versus a person with a regular sized head. It's a fucking pain in the dick. If anyone knows any home remedies, or even if there's a man knocking about with a cure, give me a shout. Yeah, if there's some old mad swindler wants to get Aaron down to the house. It's all weird shit, isn't it? Can't swindle. They don't take payments. They don't take payments? No. Oh, You're not even supposed to thank them. What a nightmare of a job to have. Yeah. People you, queuing up all day. Well, they're sent by God. Are they? You, you get in, you get in, you get out. Nothing said. You get thanked up there, big man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get thanked up there. I remember my sister went to one, and the guy went to money. He goes, "Just next time you see a charity box, stick twenty quid in it." Karmic loop. And he'd be, and he'd be like, "There's a charity box outside the door." <laughs> yeah, there's a Mario Curie one there right outside my front. <laughs> yeah. Good woman. Charlie starts at home, right? We do do PayPal as well, so don't worry about it. <laughs> PayPal for the cure. <laughs> Twenty pound ticket bargain, uh, uh, crypto for, uh, but it's all mad shit, isn't it? You you go in there and be like, just have a headache, won't go away for a week, and the guy's like, well, say no more. Tape these two carts, yeah, to the bottom of your feet. <laughs> but I told you I got one. I think I told you this in the green room one time at lab race. I got one for piles, and what they do is again can't pay. It sounds like one of these dodgy stories. Where he's like, all I had to do was go to uh, this forest park, and there was some public toilets there, and all I would have to do. <laughs> is go up and present my injury through a hole in a wall and a guy will apply some special ointment with a, a tool that he has, yeah. with, which has a skin-like feel to it. And uh, sure, I've still got it. The piles are still there. They were momentarily pushed in, but I still got them. No, you went down and he would give you, he would write, he'd give you a wee envelope with a prayer in it. Right. And you would stick it in your back pocket. Up your own. No, you would literally stick it in your back pocket. Right. And the, the, the prayer would then... Through the process of osmosis, go in your asshole <laughs> and wipe out the hemorrhoids, you know? And, like, I remember like my dad kept saying to me, he said, you have to believe it. You have to believe it. If you don't believe it, it won't happen, right? That's what they always say about uh, cures. And people do have stories where they have literally went for a cure and it's fixed whatever they have. But the, there's a thing of, like, you have to believe it. If you don't believe it, it's not going to work, right? So I, I, I called bluff. I was like, right. I believe that this prayer in an envelope... Someone sent you down for piles? Yes. What age were you then? Like 16. So you're going up to the parents? Oh, bro, like, I, I've been had piles. You'd be like, Pio. <laughs> I'm an early adopter. You'd be like, Pio. There's a packet of nerds hanging out of my asshole. It was like, it was like the first time I ever got like... <laughs> the bad case was whenever I got really drunk at the milk cup in Port Rush. We were all like in school. We went for a big heavy weekend. And they... That was the that was their final form. You had a flare up. Which you? Now. <laughs> <laughs> but this was the initial hatching stages, and I was like, right, let's, get, <laughs> let's get rid of these now. The spawn. So, we talk way too much about see if there's one more hemorrhoid clip out of this motherfucking podcast. <laughs> so we oh. we go in and we get the envelope, put it in my back pocket. <clears throat> I take this motherfucker to school with me and put it in my fucking school trouser in my back pocket. And uh nothing happened. Right, and I was always I never I just threw it out, and I was like I should have opened that and seen what it said inside. Imagine you just opened it up and was like get wrecked, you dug it. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? You know I be you be talking about that cure thing, yeah. and I'd be like what a load of shit, and you're like if you you gotta believe it for it to work, and then I'll read like one of those Bruce Lipton books or whatever, and be like he has a point. Yeah, you just think yourself better. Yeah, it's true. It's the same. But I what I I heard a girl one time the girl never dev, but she was like she was like. Uh, but if you want her, but she was like, <laughs> you know, she was like, I had, a, I had a wild bad flu one time, and then I went for the cure, and just like that, three weeks later, I was better. And you're like, yeah, it's about the amount of time. That's the, about the, yeah. You, you find, hey, you wait for it to go away. It's gonna go away. Like, well, that thing is, they need to be a bit more specific in terms of. It has to be. It has to be shite. That's like an a wee ailment. Yes. You can't be like, can I have a cure for a broken leg? Because mm. it's a very, you know, you're like, well, it's not gonna happen, is it? No, go to the hospital. Piles would be the perfect ailment. Yeah, warts you know. is yes. a big one of her. Verrucas. Yeah. Yeah. Although, how bad do they get? Verrucas? Yeah, I've never had one like but. Well, I think people can... I mean, it's this... What the fuck is this podcast? I'm going to be sick here. This shit. It, we're oh, dice up nice. here. Nice. Smoke nice. weed every day. Um, I think people can get them all over their feet. Disgusting! <laughs> uh, <laughs> perfect button. You know, so your whole feet just feel like you're walking on fucking glass. That is fucking wrong. Did you not get any back in the judo days? I got all sorts of minging shit back no, in the judo No, but I days. do have, uh, you know the way you've got a, the a crusty big toe? You know, from like, oh, yeah. just being on the mat or yeah. whatever. 
you know i've got i've had that no varicose though no varicose no i think i did have one at one point and then got got a cut out uh, you get a cut yeah they like freeze the skin and then you just they cut around it hey what other sexy shit have we got to talk about this week well uh colin funny you say by the way can we address my can we address my face (laughs) (laughs) i look like the alchemist it is mad i noticed it as soon as i got in the car did i but a lot of people just look at me and go, what, what's happened here? And then they go, oh, it's, it's your face. You shaved it. Well, no, because you said about how you've looked the same since you were like 16. I'm like, I don't know about that. But now that you've trimmed your beard, I'm like, oh, yeah. You literally do look the exact same. It's crazy. Still stinking. <laughs> Bring back the stash. I had a mustache last night. Bring it back. Now I said to him in the car, if you stuck on some chinos and a wife beater and a pair of Nike Cortez, I could have rolled in here and be like, what's up, bo- S.A.? You know? <clears throat> get, the, uh, get the old bouncy fucking uh, suspension in the Range Rover there. Oh, my God. Well, but I, I, had to, uh, I mean, Manske, they sent me out their beard trimmer, which is actually phenomenal. But I uh, clicked it on number two, thinking it was the same as the hair, the head trimmer, because that's what I was shaving my beard with about once a month. I say beard, it's it's not even a real beard. But then uh, I basically, the first whack I took at it just took it down to the bone and I went, for fuck sake. And then I had to just fade the rest of my fat, stinking face in. This is, uh, speaking of uh, Mexican speak, this is a very wholesome video here uh, of uh, Mel Gibson. I like seeing celebrities doing everyday shit, you know? It's the great equalizer. Doesn't matter how famous you get, sometimes you gotta put a bit of air in the tire. Yeah. And uh, there's a video here of just uh, it's a very wholesome exchange. Just a Mexican fella seeing Mel Gibson putting air in the tire. Mel helping my friend Mel Gibson. My friend Mel Gibson. El Patriota. Mel Gibson. Are you Mel Gibson? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Immediately yeah. hits it. El, El Patriota. <laughs> La Patriota. <laughs> You she, ever seen the Patriot? She low? You seen the Patriot now? Uh, probably. There's yeah. a great shot where they sh- they fire a cannon and it just bounces along the ground, hits this guy in the leg, and just like just chops his leg off. It's great. It's the only better remember. Can't remember anything else. You perform in the Patriota? The Patriota? Yeah. Movie? The Patriot? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Long time ago. Long time ago, yeah. Yeah. Why are you alone? <laughs> <laughs> Where are your friends, McGibson? You ain't no friends? <laughs> but that would make me shit myself if someone was like, why are you alone? Also, why does he think famous people operate? I know, he just, yeah. You can't have a fucking team. Why are team. you alone? Why are you? <laughs> I am alone because I'm not famous. Famous? I like being alone. Oh, yeah, Goodbye, yeah. Goodbye, Mel. Oh, my God. This is a lucky day for me. I don't know. Yeah. What if I rob you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the laugh of someone who is about to scatter you. Uh, yeah. Bill Gibson's a fucking yoked as well. Oh, why? It's actually fucking horny material here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are, Mel Gibson. <laughs> Many times you're going to say it. Oh, Mel Gibson. You and are, the, Mel Gibson. And the one movie that made it to Mexico. <laughs> La Petrata. Eh? La Petrata, yeah. And then he goes, a long time ago. You haven't done shit since. <laughs> Hey, can you shine that light on, on this? Good mom, man. Put him to work. The fuck? That's it. The flag them. On, on the pressure gauge. Okay, let me help you. You go, why are you alone? Imagine <laughs> you just went in the full round. Because I live with a fucking bitch. Actually, I asked. <laughs> trying to steal my fucking money. Uh, Turn that sign. Another sign. Put your headphones oh, on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Who's this? Sorry, 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 Robert Downey Jr. I fuck him, Asking dude. for forgiveness. But yeah, I've got a baldy face. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look mental? Do I look mental? <laughs> no, you don't. <sighs> You don't look mental. <sighs> look bad though. I need a I need a tan. I need one holiday. Bomb squad holiday. Book it there. Book it there. Not we'll get a holiday. We'll get all crispy in the sun. Oh well, I'll get tanned and leather. I will not. No. I'll be doing the drum sex squashy. You, you'll be getting crackling and uncomfortably walking. <laughs> oh yeah, chief city. You're gonna have to get a wee divider. You know, you know some of those <coughs> cheesecakes that you get where they just have like two bits of paper in between them. Oh, why? That's what you need for your ball back. Where is Chief City, Majorca? <laughs> <laughs> Marrakesh. For you, Arma. 
<laughs> it's fucking Armand Armand man. Twenty degrees plus. <laughs> Mallorca. I seen this Where is Chief City? <laughs> Google where Chief City is. Chief City, Chief, Chief City, bitch. <laughs> Chief City, bitch, Chief City, bitch. Skin, skin, skin on your titties, bitch. <laughs> Have you played Grand Theft Auto, Chief City? <laughs> it's good crack now. Who's playing, you, who's playing Man United tomorrow? <laughs> Chief City. <laughs> Chief City Rovers. Are the CFR or, or not? CR. Man, you've had two strokes. You've I, know, I literally, I feel delusional. Uh, I, I don't know why this made me laugh so much. It's always the dumb shit these days. But I seen a t-shirt in River Island whenever I was buying <laughs> these fucking elastic joggers. Good tip for the fat man too. Uh, elastic joggers that are sort of like combat material. Would you say? Good old pick up. Aye, aye. Um, show off the kicks. But I was in River Island and I was looking through their t-shirt selection. And you know the way, like River Island just has very like yeah. it's always at all over tits out. Name of a random city. Yeah. Just, Malibu. Yeah. Over tits. Yeah. That's all it is. Uh, I seen a t-shirt just said, it was like a white t-shirt and had a wee kind of logo on the left teat. And it just said in like really fancy font, good luck in Marrakesh. What the fuck's that about? Is that a reference from something? I don't I don't know. Good luck in Marrakesh. <sighs> you buy it? <laughs> no, but I should have for the bit. We should we should do an episode where we just wear like real sh- shit gear. Yeah, two thousand and six River Island. I nearly bought you that uh, Greg's hoodie at a Primark one day. I seen a guy walking about full Greg's fit in the Asda Noma, Greg's Letterman jacket with a Greg's t shirt underneath, and I uh, was it, he didn't have Greg's trousers on. But yeah, yeah, they look mental. He did. He did look unhinged in the Asda Noma. Jesus Christ! You know we don't even have a Greg's. We had a Greg's. We lost it. Oh. Can't keep that hanging that fucking thing. You can't bring you can't bring exogenous sausage rolls in the Oma. People are like, this is our territory. Yeah. This is Chief City, bitch. <laughs> well, you you are, know where you are? You know where you are. <laughs> you in the kitchen, baby. <laughs> what about all those videos of fucking <laughs> Axel is that his name? Axel Rose? Yeah. You know, at Glastonbury and stuff, and people are saying he sounds like the, the old boy from uh Family Guy. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Is he in bad neck Axel Rose? <laughs> it's the vo- it, I think it's just years of fucking coke and sh- screaming. Yeah. Has he just sounds like an old wobbly fart. What age of a man would he be now? <laughs> well, what age would he be? Ah, uh, oh, late fifties, I'd imagine. Playing glass and brain your fifties. Fucking hell. What a life. The rest of the boys still still ripping it like. He's the one that got I well, he was I, the biggest partier, wasn't he? No, there's a few lunatics. You know more about it now, would you? There's a few oh, lunatic. Yeah, like- Slash died. Slash died. Oh, fuck. In an elevator, and then they resussed him, like, half an hour later. <laughs> and he still looks dead? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all fucking men. Who's the other one? Duff? Is he dead? Duff, the bassist. Is he still... Ca- uh, they're all mad cunts. Sure, have you yeah, watched? Still going. Bassist would be a job where you could spoof it with, like, being, you know, high on cocaine or whatever, couldn't you? Like, it'd be the handiest part of the band to spoof if you were a full drugger. Maybe. Have you ever yeah. seen Flea from the Chilies? No. I mean, the guy's wired to the moon, like. Drummer. Bassist. Bassist. But he's all, you know. Yeah. <laughs> His legs all over the fucking place and all. Cock out. Did you hear anything about this Miranda Singsgarn? Yeah, I did. I brought that up. I don't know what the crack is. Just <laughs> one by one, non-skate. I saw a video the other day. I don't have it on me. Uh, where they were confronting, because we're about to go Nancy here. They were confronting these... Um, you know, it was like one of these pedophile hunter types, and they got. By the way, ninety percent of those people are just absolutely mentally ill. Yes, you know. So they run up on this guy, and they're like, "Oh, you were here to meet a fourteen-year-old." This guy's like, "Um, yeah." <laughs> um, <clears throat> and they're like, "Yeah, you're a fucking nonce." And he goes, "What's the nonce?" And they're like, "What would you rather?" Or he's like, what? <laughs> is it- "Would you rather have dicks for no, 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 he, no." He goes, "He goes, what do you want me to call you? A fucking dirty old c- or a nonce?" And he goes. Um, nonce. <laughs> I was like, man, how did I go from, you know, how did I end up feeling sorry for this guy who just doesn't even know what nonce is and he's doing it? I mean, it does roll off the tongue nicer, you know, yeah. if you had to pick between the two. Because he goes, what, what are you calling me? And he goes, a nonce. He goes, what you, we rather call you a dirty old bastard or a nonce? Oh, I'll take nonce, please, for the three dirty points. Old c- dirty old c- <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's low-hanging fruit, you know, to chase up all these... 
I mean, the people are not right. Not people are not there right. should be Peter Hunter Hunters where yeah. we go after them because they're mentally ill too. Like, yeah, you chase different them, subcategory. Chase them up and you'll be like, you, you, th- you think this is a win? Yeah. Picking on this guy? You know? The guy's got a spar bag full of toys for himself. It's the admin of it, you know, going into making a kind and then chatting like a 13-year-old girl. Something not right there either. Hey! If you're able to masquerade as a 13-year-old and you're 40, Aye, take I, a look at yourself. Exactly. I'm 36. I wouldn't know how to do it. Nah. <laughs> you watch uh, <laughs> fucking Tally told me I don't know what the fuck would appear watching that. Yeah. I can't even speak to my nephew who's 19. Yeah. Like he speaks. I swear to fuck. Do you like vapes? Oh? <laughs> That's literally what we bond over. <laughs> yeah. Which makes me feel fucking pathetic. <laughs> yeah. You trying to be cool. You on the blue <laughs> rose. You, you, you the fucking bandana. He said, get out of here, you pedo. What's that, dude? <laughs> Blowing rings and all. Yeah. <laughs> you want to come around, man? Chill out. He posts up on his Instagram, blowing O's with Unk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Lord bless and save us. But I, Miranda sings uh, one of these jokes uh, that, uh, you know, became famous whenever the internet was just starting to be a thing. Yeah, big YouTuber. Big YouTuber created an online fan base of, you know, children. Uh, and uh, <laughs> someone has came out and said uh, that essentially she groomed them, but how she did it was through she. So she posted a parcel, right? So she went to the post office and posted this uh, a parcel of her dirty cacks <laughs> to the fella. Right? <laughs> this is what she did. Yep. You know? Did she do it in the wee voice? I, I'm sending you some dirty cacks. Which, you know, uh, I get, she did an apology video too, which we'll get to, but like, there's a bit in it where she's like, you know, maybe I should have set boundaries with my fans. And you're like, here, I set a boundary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Who, do, who can you send them yeah. to? I, <laughs> you know, well, where's the line in the sand there, you know? And guys, I will be picking a random member of the Patreon this month where I'll send you a, a pair of my next boxers. <laughs> The boxers could walk to you themselves. And I want you to clean them and send them back to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just get a, a fucking black bin bag full of laundry. What the fuck is this? Here, do what you need to do. And then wash them and send them back. Good lad. But yeah, so <laughs> you will love this. You will really enjoy this because, um, so she didn't apologize. <laughs> You're a big nonce fan. <laughs> you, you love this. You will love this. Um, because you hear anybody doing anything sincere. So she did a video, right, where she uh, addressed the allegations. But, you know. <laughs> I, I used to look like over the knickers. She's like, <laughs> I fucking fingered my box in a pair of these pants and said to me at 12. Maybe I should rethink some boundaries. Yeah, I'm saying a boundary for myself. I, mean, I will not send you cash. What age was the kid that he's. Like 13 at the time. Did he have bank, did he? I don't know. Because she might have been like, I know it's a bit dodgy, but here, fucking, you know what I mean? No, I think this was like a fan gift. A, a gift? Yeah. What would you like? Sign this poster? This was like a thanks for the support. Here's a pair of Mike Yaks. Sign poster or a pair of fucking Nutella up thongs. <laughs> his face is about to turn inside. Look at that. He's been throwing his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you actually got a rare combo earlier where he did gecko face and then laugh for it. I've never <laughs> seen that before. <laughs> That's not real gaggle. Involuntary laugh. Um, uh, that's fucking gross. But yeah, so, well, first of all, before I play the apology video, here's a video of her that hasn't aged well since these allegations have came out. Was it? Oh, of course. On Prince Andrew eating pizza? Um, that's not working, so I'll play the apology video. You're going to love this. Okay, so obviously these days, you know, when someone does something that is questionable uh, morality-wise, people will rush to the notes app on their phone but she made it a piece of art. <laughs> Sniff my cacks. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. Disgusting! A lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Entertaining. <laughs> right? having fun all aboard the toxic gossip train you're chugging down the tracks of this I think school finished should have done this <laughs> the toxic gossip train how much longer you should I long put up with this <laughs> I didn't do anything illegal vape pulls 
Imagine you went to vape and it just sounded like a fucking, you know, like a harmonica. <laughs> I didn't touch his penis till he was disgusting. 18. <laughs> clinkity, clinkity, uh, clink. Uh, I'm sorry it took so long to come as gay. I was only at Epstein's <laughs> Island for the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, all pedophiles should <laughs> you clearly. I think only pedos do. <laughs> I don't know anyone plays the ukulele as a pedo. Yeah, while you're at it, if you're a guy who plays the ukulele, get the hard drive checked <laughs> get immediately. It, get it in the river, big lad. <laughs> Holy shit, look at them buns. Uh, <laughs> 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 Every time the soundboard is we had in jam it up. Oh, um, fuck's sake. But yeah, she referred to it as a toxic gossip trend. You know? Uh, this uh, this tirade against her. But she did admit, apparently, to sending the cacks. She was like, yeah, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes. Move on. Hop aboard the gossip I mean, trend. literally, you know, if it was some wee rich boy and, like, you know, the story came out where she's like, oh, the guy was like, oh, yeah, I've got some sort of mad trust fundy thing and I just sent her, like, 20 grand and it was back in the early days. You'd yeah. Be like, okay. Yeah. Not okay, but like, I understand. So your problem with it is that money wasn't being transferred. I, I yeah. Cause I get, I get, you know, like if you, if you were in a position, <laughs> doggy, no, if you're in a position, uh, where you, you know, someone was just like, listen, send me your cacks. I'll do this. And you'd be like, well, say nothing, but here, Yeah. Her but, if she, but if he was just, if she was just like, congrats, you won the competition. What do you want? Sign t-shirt? He's like, nah, let me chat to you for a second. Eh? Yeah. Her PR team has a crisis meeting. Why don't you go rollerblading in these cacks for a day and go to the gym and then send them to me? You could have made a fortune of this, you silly bitch. You know? Station, station, toxic gossip train. Time to the track. Okay. That cat home was just a fucking like thong stuffed in his mouth. Mind. <laughs> Lovely sofa, though. The She's a millionaire. L ship. Crash, but hey, at least you're having fun. Fucking Americans, man. What the fuck's wrong with them? But I. That's uh, that's a top story this week. I mean, how long is that video? Does she play a song for an hour and a half there? That's 10 minutes and 18 seconds, sir. 7.9 milli hits. Um. <laughs> hey, hey, revenue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You got any I'm, ads? She's you like, uh, she's like, I'm apologizing and making bank. I think there's actually a man skipped out in this. You're at home <laughs> with my knickers, <laughs> having a wank. This ship. Uh, but yeah, absolutely rotten. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just fucking. You can't be just. Why? I don't know. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't be interested in doing anything for children. No, you know what I mean. No, getting all, getting all fucking. I should. That's a fun. That's a sketch. Fat Blippy. Have you ever seen Blippy? What is Blippy? He's a nonce. No, he's not really. He's just a, he's a other dude who. <laughs> uh, but again, something came out about him where he he's a, he's like a children's program. It's it would make you fucking sick. Like just the, he's one of these. Hey kids, today we're at a farm and we're gonna. He's like wearing a wee blue shirt and a wee hat and everything. He's yeah. like, yeah, hey, yeah. What's this? A tractor? And uh, of course, Eddie's like, yeah, give me more. Uh, but yeah, he had like a YouTube account previous to that and that's the one where famously you should look it up and like he just type in blippy harlem shake because it was all it was during that harlem shake thing and he was obviously looking a bit of internet clout uh-huh. and he was like burr, 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 burr. that song was building up and then it, uh, when the drop kicks in he just goes you're gonna have to you're gonna have to google it it's not gonna be on youtube he shits on a man's head <laughs> <laughs> shout out live lake let's go <laughs> blippy. but at some point he's uh, he's been holding this turd for uh all morning, and then it's like, burr, 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 and then you just rap because you rarely see your shit out of a toilet. I actually, uh, my friend's uh, girlfriend is a nurse, and she took me over the poo chart this week. So there's different types. We'll do the poo chart after this. <laughs> <laughs> Not safe for work, Scat. <laughs> That's the name of the podcast right there. <laughs> <laughs> Not safe for work, Scott. Where's Blippy turning on his mate's head? Blippy Harlem Shake. Yeah, yeah this might be it. I think so. Get rid of them pop ups. What the fuck? Man? Voyage to the Moon. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they show it in this. But so this guy went from this to <sighs> we're running the bike going, hey kids, we're at a petting farm today. Blah. And before. 
Are they going to show it? They've covered it with this uh, image. Come on. We're trying to see the child start to get shit. <laughs> but let me tell you something. See, now, see if you want to see if you want to drop any project you're working on at the minute and make some real bank. Make a kids video. Make like, make like, get a little set made and just do like stop motion with a tractor. <laughs> it is crack cocaine for children, and every video has like. Is yeah, this it? Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, now this guy's running around like, hey kids. <laughs> 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 oh my days sir oh my days genuinely impressive <laughs> like genuinely like like what what would you compare that, that looks like a, a saucepan full of chili <laughs> <throw at him. laughs> if i had to describe the amount that just came out of his shitter there <laughs> let me see now i don't know i want to get this right in the drop because uh it's mad this came out of a man right i don't know Right, so seeing that there now is the initial, <laughs> the initial scan, and then like even the fact that it's it's painted this whole man's ass and still enough room left over for the shower. <laughs> Do you know what's mad about this? <laughs> By the way, sorry, the the ooze, like an espresso machine at the end. Like you, you have to do this in the privacy of your own home, but it's still the worst place to do it. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? You would want to be doing that, like you know, up to your ankles in a river or something. Yeah. You know, but they you can't do that publicly, so they're like But if I, like they they've been out and they've been like, Man, you wanna get some hits, bruh? Shit in your mate. I'll get you, you this Harlem Shake thing's kicking about. Let me Harlem shite in your head. Let me <laughs> see here if I can pull up the shite chart. Yeah, do that. Let's guys the, the podcast has a brand and that's it. <laughs> we talk about shits. Oh here we, we go. Week in, week out. This uh, the Bristol the, stool chart. This is now yeah, man. This is Tom Segura fucking uh Ah, so here we go. Bread so, and butter, this. So there's uh, Disgusting! There's like eight types, I believe. <laughs> seven types. Okay, I've, so, I've had every uh, one of them today. <laughs> just the thing, I, she goes, what type are you? And I was like, I can tell you six. You're, like, top. you're like, brunettes and big tits, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had a type one, which is the separate hard clumps. Yeah, that's a constipated <laughs> one. No, we've it's, too you've too much you've too much material flying through. This your body. is more my kind of caliber here. The lumpy and sausage like the lion slightly bar, slightly constipated, which would make sense. The lion bar, yes. It's like a honeycomb shape, and then type three is <sighs> the battered sausage shape with a bit of cracks in the surface. That's normal. That's good shitting. <laughs> that's good shitting, baby. Uh, type four, smooth, soft sausage or snake. <laughs> <laughs> the old rectal anaconda. That's that's prime, surely. That's what you're after. So these two are the normal ones. Uh -huh. It just, you know, it's like, um, it's a good personality quiz, you know? Yeah. What sort of shit are you? Yeah. They should put that in your Tinder bio. They should have this instead of like love languages. Star sign, love language. <laughs> a Brist type three. Bristol stool turd. <laughs> type three girlfriend, type seven boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you can't be yeah you can't be the same you know it's like fucking astrology like clash? Astro astrology yeah. astrology <laughs> sort of astrology oh, are you? Come on, i'm man. a three and i'll be like i can't deal with threes <laughs> my plumbing can't deal with threes no, threes are snakey um, <laughs> fours are snakes <laughs> fours are snakes <laughs> Fox and Patrick and all the snakes that I've heard, but there's still a few in our fucking toilet. There's still a chocolate cobra up my asshole. <laughs> Type five. Now this is where you've, you're lacking in fiber. If this is what you're seeing in the bowl, we've got a uh, soft blobs, but clear cut edge. You know. Okay. You know. Okay. So they're you know the formation to them, but so it's like a bounty trio. Exactly. Thank you you have a gift for Lincoln shade the chocolate. Thank you. Type six. Do you know what man? Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mushy consistency with ragged edges. Now, if you've got this, you're probably going through an eye inflammation somewhere. Right. And finally, type seven, which I'll be honest with you, I've probably seen this a bit too many times. Full <laughs> full liquid? Oh, yeah. Full liquid seven? Yes. All them shakes. <laughs> I've, if, I, if I have like mad night on the booze or something. Type seven? I might, no, no, no. I might get a, I might get a, you know where it's, it comes out like fucking half eaten Weetabix? Yes. 
you know what I mean? Where it just blows out of your ass. <laughs> Fo- like full blown water, I've had probably four times in my whole life. In my whole life. Four times? Yeah. Fuck, I need to look about myself. Like full squirty water is usually like I'm LL. Yeah. Like sick, this is the way I would go. Full number seven there, full liquid, mm-hmm. is I'm actually like stomach bug. Six, is that six going back away? Yeah. Six would be I've been treating my body like shit. Mm hmm. And I've just got rough dumps. Five, I don't know if I've ever had that. I've never had that in my life. But you must be fibered and up. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. The only time I've ever had, see, like one or two mm-hmm. has been in the next few days after I've had a seven. <laughs> so like the body just empties and then whatever wee bits I've got left comes out like a packet of minstrels. Yes. He's back at it again, baby, with the fucking chocolate references. <laughs> he can't be stopped. Type four is post Guinness. <laughs> no, type four is supposed to be healthy. No, I every time I have a Guinness now it comes out like that. <laughs> type four would be would be what they call the ghost shit. We take oh, you sh- don't even need a wipe. You don't need a wipe, you don't know where it went. Just comes out can I lost it? Sl- it slithered away down the street. <laughs> By itself. <laughs> yeah, it can look after itself and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Raise a family. Raise a family of ones. <laughs> <laughs> is that top one Stonehenge? <laughs> I'm a wee bit far away from it here. I, I'm only picking up on, you know, silhouettes. No, one is you're very constipated. Yeah. So if you're seeing that, it's a red flag. Basically, extremes of the charts are bad. Everything else in between is where you want to be. I'd say nine times out of ten, I'm a type three. Okay. I did a type three literally an hour ago before we did this podcast mm. in the office toilet. What do you do now? Uh, yeah, type three, type four. Yeah. Hopefully. Although, uh, after a good boosh you know, type 7. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the old boosh him 7. Nothing gives me that liquid, though. <laughs> Nothing. It would, uh, genuinely, uh, genuinely, would have to be ill, like proper stomach bug, to be getting water flowing out of Like when I was in Viet- or Thailand, Yes, I had 7. Yes. By the gallon. Well, often I will get a... Like, the 7's never normally by itself. Yes, if I'm having just a 7, I'm ill. But often it'll be like a cocktail of a 7 and a 3. You know? <laughs> Both in the one sitting? I could have both in the one sitting for sure. The long and nice day of shites, if you will. So you get the cereal and the milk? Uh, like in one? <laughs> exactly. Exactly? Yeah, milk before the cereal always. I think you need more fiber. <laughs> yeah, I should probably. I've done, I've done, I've, I've had a few occasions where uh, this might be like a festival shite, <laughs> where the first one is like a four because you've been backed up mm-hmm. and then the rest of it's when the drink follows. So it'll be a four swiftly followed by like a seven. I feel like festival shites are its own chart. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a festival shite is that thing they hold up and the psychiatrist where they're like, what do you see Oh, here? it's like a butterfly pin. Yeah. <laughs> I took a shite in Glastonbury at an eco toilet, which is where they, uh, they build like a platform over this thing mm-hmm. and it falls into like a bin full of some other shit where it like dissolves... I don't know. It's not like all chemicals and all whatever. Yeah. But you literally pinch one off, and, go, and then you hear like one, two, three. And then you hear it hit. Yeah, that festival toilets freak me out. And Glastonbury's hilarious. Or, well, most festivals, you know, you see people with a ball roll under their arm, like oh, I... all on the way to the toilet. Yeah. Because you just you don't give a fuck at that point. You're like, we're all shit in here. Ah, we all fucking stink. Uh, this is a video I've got for you here. Oh. <laughs> He's <laughs> got that cheesy grin, bro. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Oh. He's got the dickies on, too. <laughs> He's got the jockeys on. He's got the arm of can. High end. That's it, lad. Get a handful. Ooh. That is every comedian and their wife. <laughs> <laughs> Just to explain to the audio people at home there, uh, there was a beautiful black oh. li- African queen <laughs> on a swing there. Uh, at some park getting photos with an orangutan, which could basically just kill anybody at any point. Yeah. Squeezing her tits. Oh yeah. And, and it had reaching a, around the big set of hands and like, honk honk. It had a fucking dead man grip on them ditties. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it, but he gave it a squeeze and then he gave it a wee a wee like oh. Then the lips fluttered up. And a, oh. <laughs> He's been taught that. Oh I. You know, wherever they are. Some old pervy trainer. He's been like, listen, 
I'll get you a couple of extra bananas tonight. <laughs> if you squeeze these melons. There's a bag of fives for you, lad. You're naming them. <laughs> <laughs> if you can grope them tuts for me. <laughs> for the gram, the camera. Right in this angle here. The cameras are rolling. It'd be funny if he just was a perv to everybody. Some fella steps up and he's just like, <laughs> just grabs him out of the box. Or it'd actually be funny if he was really particular. Like, she went up, gets her tits grabbed, next dog goes up, he's like, mm. he's like, well, he won't even turn around. <laughs> You grumpy face on him. <laughs> More bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> well, this, well, this month are here. Here, what? There. You know. Um, or he squeezed them and he don't like it. He's just like, you owe me a fucking, you owe me a pun of the grapes. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Wonder why they put pajamas on an orangutan. It's, I mean, it's so cute. I like the way it's like orangutan, and we're just like, nah, it's not. It's orangutan. Orangutan. Orangutan titties. <laughs> Who was in the orangutan titties bit? Fucking orangutan titties. Definitely a black comedian at their side. Yes. Was it Jordan Robbins? <laughs> he has orangutan titties. It was so funny. Shout out to Jordy, but he got, Jordy's the man. I don't know what he was getting changed. Oh, he came out of work and then he had, I think he had like civilian clothes to do the gig and he took his top off to put them on and Mickey was just like staring at him and he goes, he's like, man, I'm fucking not another ride in too long. <laughs> I should call her. <laughs> <laughs> and by her, he means you're know, like 50 women. <laughs> I should call one of those jokes. <laughs> I should call anyone on my phone to see their pits. It was a magical moment. <laughs> uh, shout, out jo- uh, shout out Jordy. No, uh, he's not one broke his foot. I don't know what it is. These comedians breaking their fucking oh, feet sorry. off, man. Come on, I look. I seen him in the green room, looking like Stone Cold. Yeah, sto- fuck these comedians with the shittest ankles going. Like, yeah, just the big iron boot in them. And I was like, I was like, what happened to you? And he was fell down the stairs. I was like, man, stop falling down the stairs. Yeah, you know. Do you need to tell me something? You know. Yeah. I've never, I weirdly never fell down the stairs. I've fallen upstairs a thousand times. I have terrible balance. Oh, yeah, fallen upstairs. I had a real nasty one. And I'm, gl- I'm glad I was by myself on, on the stairs up to the office here one day, just tramping up and just missed the step. I was carrying a box too and just full fucking on my face. Yeah. Sharp out of the steps too. Uh, it's, it, it's a mad one whenever you have an eye lax and it got to yourself. Yeah. You know, there's no audience there to judge you. The worst one of that was, do you remember when it was very cold and icy during the winter and I pulled up in that wee car park for Lavery's, got out of the car and just w- put my full weight on one foot and it was just a frozen solid puddle and went whoop, poof, onto my arse. And I wish there was people around because yeah. it, it was like more embarrassing than I did it on my own. Because I, <laughs> I just, you know, like the wind gets knocked out, like, hey, 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 and then I'm just like, <laughs> and then just did that slow Peter Griffin, like, ah, <laughs> ah, shit. And just clambered to my feet. But it was so icy that it was completely clean. I thought it was going to be stinking. Yeah. But I was embarrassed. And then thought I got away with it. And then a couple of days later, I was like, oh, I can't move my neck. Because I just went. Oh, yeah. There's a wee delay in that one. Yeah. I do that a lot. You know, I'm quite robust. Oh, ice is my nightmare. Ice and heat. Nightmare. Yeah. If you were slipping around and chafing. Oh, why? <laughs> chafing on ice? You know, you'd open a portal into something. Hospital? What else have you got for me? Check out this crazy mad bitch. Uh, Mr. Mr. Presenter. He's in a presenting role today. I don't know how you do it, sir. I'm fucking like looking at you, looking at the laptop. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Too many tabs. Don't you forget. Don't you forget. I'm done, sir. I've been at this a wee uh, while, man. Not your first I've video. I've been clicking on porn videos for a decade. <laughs> I mean, I've said every video show me. Seen it. So executive sum, uh, teacher in America, clearly having a breakdown. Yep. I don't know if you had any teachers in your school that you were like, this doll's one bad class away from just going absolutely nuts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is one of these teachers. And uh, for some reason, she begins in a complete outburst, screaming the national anthem, takes a pair of scissors, yeah. and offers to cut the hair of the students, okay. every student there. She wants a clean class, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, the first guy here sits down just obediently, takes it. Watch this. What, what so right. proudly we hail by the twilight's last streaming whose bright rides and pride Take a while to get up there. Next. 
next. Then I pick you out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, oh, don't no. touch me. No. <laughs> Man, look at this. This mad bitch. Oh, Miss Jean. Miss Jean. Okay. Miss Jean. Whole classroom swarms. And this one was arrested and faced charges. And I'll tell you something. If one of my teachers did that to me, I'd be bringing the AR-15 in the next day. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> you not even know what an AR-15 is. But I shot one in Texas. Oh, goddamn! <laughs> I have a back man. Oh, yeah. I'm bringing an AR-15 in here. And come in with just a wee hi-fi from the fucking 90s. Gotcha, bitch. No, she's, she should have been putting a straight jacket and just throwing in a cage. Correct. I would remind. America. That would, but saying you. that, like, I, I would graduate and two weeks into teaching, I'd be like that. Yeah. <laughs> Tried that with me in school. I'd have been like, just looking like this, bald as shit. <laughs> Go ahead, bitch. <laughs> Do your worst. Snap the ear, Yeah. You ain't good with back hair. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a high fade in the side part? All right, put that shit down. Let me give you a razor. <laughs> <laughs> Tear away at that. If you're gonna do it at all, do it right, you know. <laughs> oh fuck! But yeah, like I, I remember we had one teacher cry. That was it. That she was a sub teacher as well. Yeah, submissive. You know, <laughs> I don't think that's what it stands for. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> she was a dom teacher. Sub <laughs> substitute. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make a fucking ball gag in her mouth? <laughs> Just stick a lap in your mouth. <laughs> read of mice and men. Fuck up. I swear to God, I went through school. I read nothing. I, 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 all those English classes were like, take this home, read it. I'd be like, nah, bitch. I'm not reading any of this shit. Yeah. But would you do like, you don't do like class readings? I but you would just bluff through a paragraph and then they'd be like, what does that mean? And I'd be like, I don't know. It's from old times time. Yeah. yeah. Where they're all fucking talking shit and saying the N-word. Yeah, I've made some men. People were dropping the N-word. You know? A couple of clean cut people I know back from my, oh, my academy days, I've seen drop the N-bomb. My friend who, I'm not going to, don't even guess his name, but you'll know who he is. He's a teacher and he's like, whatever books, they have a few N-bombs in them still. And he's like, I'm reading this out. He goes, there's two white people in this class. Yeah. Because that's, you know, the certain parts of the country very multicultural now. Yes, of course. And he's like, why, why, are we, why are we still reading this? Yeah. The kids can't speak English and none of them are white. Yeah. Not that it's, by the way, the way I'm saying that, it's like, <laughs> you know, like if there was no black people in the class, you'd be like, fucking far away, boys! You know what I mean? You're in a safe space now! Here's Snoop Dogg's autobiography. <laughs> And after that, we're going to watch Flavor of Love. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of which, Flavor of Love, take that fucking clacker. The fuck? Take that clacker. <laughs> take that clacker. Yeah, but it's a thing. It's one of those things. Yeah. You know, you know what happens if he takes the clock off? Yeah. Who fucks that side, boy? It's, yeah. a, it's a dead giveaway. I remember being very drunk with a man at a bar in Brooklyn. No. Who told me that uh, he says, Flavor of Love is one of the worst things to happen to the black community. Really? Because of that show. I remember him getting really deep into it. It was one of the things where you know you're having a conversation and someone just gives you an absolute essay you didn't ask for and you're like, this man's been brewing this on for a minute. Yeah. He went into it about the show and stuff. And uh, He went right past slavery. Yeah. Right past the crack epidemic. Yeah. It was like, it's never Flav. Yeah. <laughs> it's never Flav. Worse. You sit with this drunk guy and like, take that clock out. <laughs> take that clock out. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> oh fuck I think you have a couple of drinks And you go like Extra Oma on them Yeah Fuck the clock Take that clock out <laughs> Would you ever Yeah man Oh fuck And then the final video I have to show for you here Is very quick and simple Good But it's, my legs are sweating It's just a It's a wee classic You know it's been a long time Since I've seen a man Try to use a pickup line Okay And this kind of showcases Why that might be the case These days Uh if you blink, you'll miss us. Yeah, your beauty like time, cause it's endless. I can have your number. No. I love that. Yeah, your beauty like time. Just stock, stock line for a pickup. Your beauty like time, cause it's endless. Can I get your number? No. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to have the voice of a nine-year-old either. Yeah. No. Hey, hey, shot if I was a orangutan, <laughs> I'll be squeezing your titties right now, bitch. Nice. Can I have your number? 
if I was an orangutan <laughs> sex offender, I'd be squeezing your tits from the back. Can I get your Snapchat? No. Right <laughs> now, what a time of the week, Crutter. Uh, I don't know. Can I have your number? No. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> If he'd have walked up, if you pounce on someone, like a girl by herself in the street, and went, yo, shorty, can I give you a million dollars? She'd be like, no. You know, it wouldn't matter what you said to her. Yeah, because of the shock. Because of the, like, no, you know. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's so funny. He was like, <laughs> <endless>. <laughs> it's, it's pretty poetic what he said, like, but, you know, just no joy in that game these days. You know, but it's like you know, it's like fucking. It's just a. It's not even a smart one, you know. Have any of you boys ever utilized the pickup line? Your ass your is time? like Earth flat. Can I, I get your number? Are, I know you're too, you know, happily taken man, but in your dog days when the lead was off, I, I think it's well past chat up lines. <laughs> like, <laughs> but chat up people did used to use them, like, you know, yeah, in the forties. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a single chat up line other than like, do you want to go on my yacht that works? Yeah, these days, like, yeah. Any other videos to show me? No, that's it, sir. We got to go and do this Patreon, don't we? We do. Get on that Patreon, my guys. Oh, my God. That it's was kicking a fun off. time. There's great, like even, uh, there's great stuff on the Patreon. There is. Join the Inner Circle. Join the Inner Circle. We still don't have a name for you guys. Um, oh, by the way. Huh? You know Miranda Sings? Uh, the community? <laughs> they were called. The Patreon. <laughs> they were called the Weenies. This ship. <laughs> Join us next week, folks. Uh, thank you for supporting. Join the Patreon. Good luck to you. Take it easy, Wainings. Wains. Wains. Wains work. Wainings. Wains world. Wow. Smoke weed every day. That was legitness. Real bad man. <laughs> 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 <laughs>